Hi there, this is Stephen Gonzalez with Stephen Gonzalez VoiceOvers. How are you doing today? In this Reaper Rapid Report, we're going to be addressing two different types of cursors. One that was just enhanced with something that is making waves in the Reaper citizenry, so to speak, and then also fielding a question or two about the play cursor. And so without further ado, let's get started. Here we have, of course, Reaper, and you should be able to see immediately that enhancement. Starting with version 6.25, this kind of elongated open square bracket has been added to the edit cursor. And it doesn't matter where the cursor resides. This thing will always follow you. Now, some people are okay with it, and some people could, you know, do without it. So how do we toggle this thing on and off? Well, what you would do is you would go into Options and Preferences. And under Preferences, you will see General and Project and Audio, and its appearance is what you want. Highlight Edit Cursor over Last Selected Track is what you want to manipulate. If you uncheck and hit Apply, you'll see that the enhancement disappears. And if you check it and hit Apply, you get it back if you have turned it off. Again, this is where you do this. Under Preferences, under Appearance, highlight Edit Cursor over Last Selected Track. So that takes care of the enhancement for the edit track. Now let's talk about the play cursor for a second. I'm going to put this in a loop and uh, show you the default play cursor. Okay, now some people are okay with its width and its color, but some people are, you know, want to change this. Some people want it to be thinner. So we just go to play cursor width and we change this to a one. And whenever we hit apply, it's one pixel thick. Well, some people want it thicker, and so we hit, say, 10, and we hit apply. Now, for grins, let me make a kooky one here and say 25, because I want you to notice something. Notice that the play cursor bar goes past the end of the time selection. That is because the play cursor's actual position is not in the middle of that bar. It's on the left side of the bar. Not the middle, but the left side. So that's something to take into consideration whenever you want to manipulate the play cursor and be using time selections with it. And also markers and regions and anything that has to do with a cursor or play cursor especially. So let's, for the purposes of this video, knock it down to say 10. And now let's talk about its color. Well, you would tweak a color. So we go to Actions and Show Action List. And under the Action Lists filter, you would type in the word Tweak. And this is it. Theme Development Show Theme Tweak Configuration Window. When we open it, we can type in the word Cursor. And it's this one, the third option, Play Cursor. When we click on this, we're greeted with the Color Selector. Now for me being able to get back to this original color, I'm going to add this to the custom colors, and there it is. Now we should feel free to make a change and say red, for example. When we hit OK, it's red. And uh, let's say we want it blue. Well, there it is, it's blue. So this is how you manipulate both the thickness of the play cursor, the width of the play cursor, I should say, and the color. Toy around with it a little bit, and then you'll be able to discover what width and color combination fits you the best. So that does it for play cursor width and color. If you have any comments or questions, please drop them in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, setting it to all so that you don't miss anything. So this is Stephen Gonzalez with Stephen Gonzalez VoiceOvers, wishing y'all all the best and you have a wonderful and wonderful day.